Welcome everyone to another edition of Live with Suzy. My name is Suzy Katami. I'm your host and producer of the program. Very happy to uh, invite a beautiful lady who has actually published her first very interesting fiction novel, um, very emotionally sweet novel to read, uh, makes you really think and appreciate life and every moment of it. And uh, that lady is with us right now. It's a pleasure of introducing to you Dr. Parastu Rezaei. Um, Parastu John, welcome to the show. I know we have decided before talking with you today to specifically talk in English so that you can use it in your website for your other followers and readers to actually be able to listen to this interview. And many congratulations on your Remembering Hope book. And um, thank you again for choosing Live with Suzy uh, as a platform to introduce your book. Wonderful thank having you with us. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I'm a big fan of your show, and I'm grateful to be speaking with you on Live with Suzy. Wonderful. Thank you so much. We always end up talking Farsi, English, and Finnish, basically, <laughs> it all shows. Uh, but I know previously we did say we want to talk in English, so most sure. of your followers and readers can actually follow us, especially because, obviously, the book you wrote, Remembering Hope, is in English. So one would hope that they can follow the conversation and hopefully um, get their hands on the book and start reading it. Uh, and uh, before we go any further, I'd like to just touch up on your education and your background, because that makes it even more interesting uh, of who you are, what you've done and accomplishments, and then coming to write this wonderful novel that you decided to write about. I know reading upon your bio that you have your doctor degree in pharmacy from University of Southern California. You also have a master degree in pharmacoeconomics from University of Florida. That's very interesting. Yes, and I have both of those, yes. Yes, and I know you were born in Iran, I believe, and then came to U.S. at some point when you were very young. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely, yes. So I was around eight years old when we came to the United States with my family, with my older brother, myself, and my parents. And we came to the United States as refugees at that time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to try to bring up to the point that you, as a lady who then got your degree as a doctorate in pharmacy and started working and you mostly worked as a clinical pharmacist, um, then you decided to write this book. Now, um, it's a very interesting book, as I said, very emotional novel, to say the least, and has a great message. Obviously, one can tell from the name of the book, Remembering Hope. What I'd like to know about you writing this book is what actually really inspired you to write such novel. Would you please elaborate on that for our listeners? Of course, yes. Remembering Hope is my first fiction novel, and the inspiration for writing the story was actually inspired by true events. Although the book is a fiction, the journey of the protagonists that are battling cancer simultaneously as a couple is the story of two people that are very close to me. And as I watch my friends go through the emotional and physical journey of fighting their illnesses, I was reminded by how many others I know who are also struggling with these different challenges in their life. And I thought about how many people I personally know, and I counted that I know about 15 other family members or close friends who are either battling or have battled cancer, and the closest members being my own parents. And mm -hmm. actually watching my mom battle her breast cancer and seeing her positive attitude about overcoming the illness was truly inspiring. And um, and so I wanted to share the story um, so that it, it, it will inspire hope and the willingness to move forward uh, beyond every challenge that we're faced with rather than moving on. And mm -hmm. and so this is what really inspired me to to write this book, which took about two and a half years to write for me. I was just going to ask, how long did it take you to actually, from the moment you decided to write, and what challenges really did you have to um, 
um, face, as one would say, in order to write this book. Because I know I've interviewed many authors and I know it's, there are many challenges uh, as you write a book from the moment you decide to write it, by the time you finish it, publish it, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Could you Absolutely. talk about that a little bit? Because I Definitely. know once the book is out, everybody thinks, oh, it's easy. I can write a book. So yeah, not that I'm, I'm trying to discourage <laughs> anyone, but I want to... <laughs> Just Absolutely. elaborate on it a little bit, if you don't mind. You're right. Yes. Uh, from start to finish, writing the, the book is, is its own challenge, making sure that you're able to give life to the characters, to create that feeling of empathy uh, for the characters and, and really, you know, making the reader want to continue reading. So um, that was and on top of my mind as I was writing it. And obviously, as you mentioned, I do have a, a job as a clinical pharmacist. So this was something that I was doing in my free time to be able to share the story because I really not only wanted to share a story about hope, but I also wanted to give glimpses into the life of Iranian Americans who have migrated to the U.S. and how they've weaved, uh, you know, the, the, their culture and heritage into the fabric of this great nation and also wanted to highlight the importance of family and friends and the role they play in keeping us afloat during some difficult times. And so all of this was, you know, um, being put together as, as I was going through this writing journey. And I had a lot of good friends and again, my family who supported me, who read multiple, multiple copies of the book to try to make sure that I bring the essence and, and the true message that I wanted to convey in the book. And once you're done, and then there are other challenges that you have to face, as you mentioned, you know, do I self-publish? Uh, mm -hmm. Do I go through the, the uh, customary pathways of doing the traditional publishing? How long does that take? And I learned very quickly if we go through the, the usual challenges uh, or I should say path of doing publication through the big uh, publishing houses, that might take another three years uh, for them to wow. view your book. And so I figured, you know, this is a story that I really wanted to convey sooner than later. And I decided that I wanted to do this uh, as a independent uh, publisher. And so I decided to put it together and I found a lot of different platforms and, and different uh, individuals that are available through um, social media sites that were able to help mm -hmm. me with the formatting, with the cover and uh, with the editing, etc. So, you know, it's it's still a learning process. And, and, and as you may be familiar, even marketing your book or even sharing what the story is about is its own um, type of uh, uh, challenge on its own. And so mm -hmm. I've really appreciated the individuals that have helped me along the way and um, continuously trying to get the message out about what this book is about and, mm -hmm. and why it's important that we um, not only read different books that touch us in, on some level, but also once we're done reading it, what do we take away from that story? Exactly, which is which is another question I had in mind, which you're coming into that, that what I wanted really to know is, uh, while I'm obviously reading this book that you kindly sent to me, is who would, as a person who wrote this book, who would you suggest would really benefit the most from reading your book? And who did you have really in mind as uh, your, you know, someone who really benefit from it? Um, and what age group? Did you have any specific group in mind writing this book is basically what I'm trying to ask. Sure. So I, I envisioned individuals that would be, you know, in their 20s and, and older, mm -hmm. um, taking uh, having some benefit from reading this book. And, you know, I, at first I, I wanted to kind of determine what the niche is for this particular story. Is it a romance? Is it a cultural heritage book? Is it uh, one that talks about illness? And honestly, I think it has a little bit of everything uh, all embedded into the story where I've had individuals on my my review page talk about how much they learned about the Iranian culture and some of the things that we celebrate and um, and and how Iranian Americans live in the United States. Someone mm -hmm. else said, you know, it, when I read the book, I actually realized how much I appreciated my husband. And I went and actually told him how much I loved him. Um, a friend of mine said, as soon as I read it, I made sure that I make an appointment to get a mammogram. So uh, I've seen it affect people in different ways. And it actually makes me very happy to see that impact on so many different layers because yeah. I don't think that our lives is a one size fit all. I think all of us have our own trials and tribulations and so many different obstacles that we face. But, you know, we all have that same thread 
of compassion, love, perseverance, resilience, and the importance of having individuals that we can lean on as we kind of go through the journey of life to help us along. And and I think in this book, you can really relate on all of these different levels when you read it, regardless of what your life situation is. I bet. Yes, that's kind of an understanding that I got to see as I'm reading the book. I haven't yet finished it, I must admit. But that was the kind of a feeling I got reading it, that whatever you have so far mentioned would be affecting different people in a different way, but all in a good, positive um, aspect of it at the end of it all. Uh, And a great message, which is very important, because obviously we all live um, in this world uh, with hope. Uh, If we don't have a hope, I don't think anybody would want to live. We all need to have hope in our lives. And, And this is a good reminder reading this book for sure um no matter how your you know uh, way of thinking is and with what situation one may have as reading this book it sure gives you hope and um it's all about positivity and i think it's that commonality that we all have regardless really of where we're from what our language is what our background is that Mm -hmm. everyone can empathize with the characters in this book. Everyone can kind of uh, imagine what their life would be like if they were going through these similar circumstances. And Mm -hmm. and so it's that, you know, point of uniting us that I felt that um, the book really spoke about an immigrant family from Iran, but it could very well be a family from anywhere um, in the U S or any other country. And they would still have the similar emotions and, 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 reactions to things that happen to us and so that's kind of the message that i really wanted to convey that we're all at the end humans going through a lot of different things and we really need to be there for each other absolutely well my hats off to you paris to john you did a wonderful job especially your first book now having been through what you have been through are you planning to maybe write another book with different messages or continuation of the great message you have started um, so far? Or is it too early to ask like someone who just gave birth to a child, they would ask them, <laughs> do you want to get pregnant and again have a child? <laughs> Yeah, so I I never say never. And now that the the gates of um, this opportunity has opened up for me and I do feel like, you know, I have a a new voice and and a Mm -hmm. new medium to be able to create, um, I would like to explore looking at another book and things that really resonate with me are really about, uh, again, going back to my own experiences, coming here with hope, um, starting a new life as a young child, really with nothing um, but that dream and, and being able to have my parents fulfill their dream for us and also for us to fulfill our dreams. Um, that's why this book resonated so much with me. And I think the next topic that I'd like to explore, and again, it's, 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 it's still in its infancy would be writing mm-hmm. about, uh, refugees and kind of how, um, that, that life course takes them from uh, the beginning to the end and how that, that story evolves for individuals. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so that may be something that I want to explore as a next topic. Again, talking about, the human experience are are real important topics for me to be able to explore and share um, through my my writings. Yes, I can can see that passion from how you speak and uh, it totally makes sense. Uh, I'm not surprised with your next topic, in other words, is what I'm trying (laughs) to say. Now, uh, we're getting towards uh, the end of our uh, interview. I'd like to thank you for, again, choosing Live with Susie as a platform to Uh, talk about your book and I wish you all the very best. On that note, I'd like for our followers, readers um, to know where to purchase uh, Remembering Hope and uh, would you please help us with that? Of course. So the book is available on the Amazon platform in paperback, hardcover, and Kindle version. And on the website, books to read.com, um, there are also other ebook uh, channels that they're able to access if they go through there. And all of those uh, links are available under my link tree the sites, which I think um, you are going to have available for the viewers and the listeners to be able to look at. Um, mm-hmm. and, and they're more than welcome to also email me at p 2 residebooks um, at uh, gmail.com for further information and uh, direction. Absolutely. Well, wonderful speaking with you, uh, Dr. Parastu Rezaei. It's been a pleasure and we'll be in touch for your next book as well and would love to have you back again with us. Thank you very All much. All the best. A pleasure. Congratulations so once again.
Thank you.